All right, so here it is. This is the Robotics Invention System 2.0, released in 2001. This is the set that I had. Uh, the original Robotics Invention System uh, released in 1998. Um, this didn't come around until about 2001. And it was probably Christmas of 2001 when I got this, something like that. Um, I have an old video of the Grabber um, model that the date says 2002. Um, that it was modified so I'm guessing that's when around when I had this set and this set just meant so much to me because I you know I've mentioned this many times I was a big fan of Lego Dacta well before Mindstorms was a thing um, just seeing all the things in the catalogs and controlling things from a computer and all that kind of stuff uh, so once this came along I had to have it <laughs> um, as I said many times Lego is what pushed me into computers and automation and uh, robotics and any of that kind of stuff that's that's what led me there uh, so we're going to take a quick look at the box on the outside a little bit and then we'll open it up and see what's inside all right so we're going to try to keep the camera as still as possible to not uh, give anybody motion sickness <laughs> but this is what the box looked like on the outside and this is um, the models that you could build with this set um, I believe all of these have instructions. Not every model had instructions, if I remember correctly. Um, build programs to do what you want. If, if you haven't seen the, the commercials <laughs> that launched with the um, Robotics Invention System, they're definitely worth a watch. All the old Technic and Mindstorms um, commercials were, were just crazy. <laughs> um, build program and there it is the legendary lego mindstorms rcx the 2.0 version which does not have a power input unfortunately um the only other difference is i believe this uh could communicate with spybotics i don't know if they ever actually implemented that but it, it's a, sl a different frequency for the ir um and then this is all the pieces that it came with here so you get quite a variety of pieces and, and lots of different, um, you know, tires and treads. You've got, you got some options there, big, big wheels, small wheels. Um, you've got wires that are going to disintegrate after <laughs> 15 or so years. Uh, so this is everything that was included. Came with two motors, two touch sensors, and a light sensor. Um, 15 guided challenges and then six pro challenges. I believe those were the ones that didn't have instructions. Um, but they did have like pictures where you could try to do, you could try to build it from the pictures. Um, this is the programming language. Um, this looks, it looks a lot more polished than the 1.0 version did, just as far as the graphics and everything. Um, it was powerful enough for what I wanted to do. It still confused me a bit. I've always been more of a hardware person. I'm not much of a programmer. <laughs> And I'm just going to kind of go over the, everything here just for anybody who hasn't seen this box before or hasn't seen it in 20 years since it uh, released. So, close it up. Uh, this is probably the last bit here. We'll, we'll capture the minimum system requirements <laughs> uh, way back in the day. So, this... I recommended Windows 98 and me. I don't know if it worked with 95 or not. Um, I believe the old version did. Pentium 2, 233 megahertz, um, 32 megs of RAM. Um, this kit came with the USB tower, um, which is basically unusable nowadays if you're using a 64-bit operating system, um, but you can use the serial tower with an adapter. These are the other sets. So these are other sets I, I plan to cover in the future. I don't know if I'll be able to do a, a, a new inbox, you know, unboxing. <laughs> Um, for those, um, but you never know, I might find them. Um, very cool sets and very cool that you could kind of, they had at least planned on being able to combine these. Um, and then later when, after, I don't know if it was after the SDK was released, um, you know, fans, uh, made that happen <laughs> where you can, uh, program the, uh, oh, this isn't even... Okay, yeah, these are both the Micro Scout sets. This doesn't even show 
the robotics discovery set, which that could be programmed later. All right. Um, all right, now we're on the back of the box here. Create thousands of unique inventions. I don't know if I quite created thousands. But, you know, they had different levels. So these were like the challenge models. They had some that were more kind of a basic introduction. <laughs> then you've got the pro challenge models here. And, you know, a lot of these I never built. I built the grabber. But I, I never built the candy sorter. I never built the art bot. And this, <laughs> this website, like, good Lord, that brings back memories because I remember going to that exact homepage with the touchscreen buttons on the top of the web page uh, and looking at the insane things that people built. It was just so crazy. Like, look, look at this dog, man. That thing's sweet. <laughs> it's got at least, looks like maybe just two RCXs. You got a rotation sensor there, which is not included in this set. Um, it's very cool stuff. Um, scanner, apparently. I don't know how well that would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll get back on the tripod and let's get this thing opened up. I don't know how much is going to come through. There's thunderstorm starting. I'm in Florida. There's always a thunderstorm. And there it goes. There goes the tape. Pull this little flap out. Put that back over. Oh, wow. What a beautiful sight. Oh, my Lord. Just pristine, perfect condition. Oh, wow. So let me try my light back on again. That looks so awesome. Let's, let's see if Lego left the batteries in. Nope, they didn't. Good job, Lego. <laughs> Some brand new 9-volt geared motors. It definitely feels... I don't know if they, if they felt... They feel tight. I don't know if that's because they're new or if the um, lubricant is dried up inside. We'll find out. I'll, I'll build some things with this eventually. Of course, you've got the USB tower to program it. You know, I actually had a new Inbox 2.0 set and sold it because I wanted money to <laughs> buy something else. Um, I had that and a new Inbox, uh, Mars Exploration, and Vision Command. They were all three new. Put them all together and sold them for like 200 or something. Like, I, don't, I shouldn't have done it because now I want a new, I want <laughs> the Exploration Mars set. So there it is all unboxed. I took some liberty in where the bags went, I guess. I don't know how much it got jostled around in its 20 year life in the box. So there it is, a brand new light sensor. Cable feels very nice for now, but you can already tell it's it's going to break down over time. <laughs> just, just like they always do. Um, I guess there's not much to say about the pieces. Um, like I said, you had your choice of uh, tires or treads, or you've got the the bigger wheels. All right, so there's our 2.0 disc. The tires for the, uh, the, the bigger wheels. Uh, why there's only three, I think there must be one hiding in the rest of it. Uh, what is this? Oh, I've, I don't... I haven't seen this. I've done a lot of... Alright, I'm back. I 
phone storage filled up. I had to wait for another train to go by. Okay, so back to this. I haven't seen this before because I've done a lot of used unboxings of these. Um, Join the first Lego League. Like, this is literally in the package. That is really cool. Um, I haven't seen that. And something else I noticed um, just now is this quote. Knowledge is only part of understanding. Genuine understanding comes from hands-on experience. Wholeheartedly agree. This name right here, Dr. Seymour Piper, 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 I don't know. Um, <laughs> look this guy up. If you are interested in Lego Mindstorms, Lego Dacta, um, that's that's a guy to look into. Um, there's some videos online of him, um, you know, with kids in the schools 30 years ago, however long it was, um, teaching them to program with old computers and uh, the precursors to Lego Mindstorms as well before Mindstorms. And one last bag here with the short cables, um, the belts, long fiber optic cable, which this cable would be used, um, or one use for it is to uh, do the VLL communication for like a, a scout. Um, I've got, it's mentioned in my video of the remote um, for this, um, and I may do another video eventually on it. We got our registration card. Right here. Uh, need to get this uh, sent off. Congratulations on your purchase of the LEGO Mindstorms Robotic Invention System 2.0. Membership privileges. You do not lose this card. You cannot join without it. Um, all right, so I need to fill get this filled out too. This is so cool. And of course, you have the Constructopedia. And um, like I said, the, the, the instructions... Uh, well, okay, first you've got getting everything set up, downloading your firmware, very important. Um, all that kind of stuff. And then the rover bots here. Um, and then, uh, was it the what was it, refrigerator Fred, something like that? I forget. <laughs> or no, this is Inventor Bot something. Um, um, yeah, but you only had instructions for a few things. Like, if you noticed all the things that were on the front of the box, none of it's here with physical instructions. And this is uh, foreshadowing <laughs> where Lego would get away from um, physical instructions and start doing everything digitally. Um, so the, all the, there were many instructions included on the disc. And then um, some of them weren't guided, you know, actual instructions like, like we're used to. It was just like a picture. And what they were, I think what they were going for is you know, there's a million different ways to, to do this. We'll give you ideas and inspiration and let you do it yourself. I don't know how well that worked for me as a kid. Um, I guess I would have been 13 or so when I, when I first started messing with this, or maybe 14. Um, I ended up building my own things, but I didn't do the challenges and build them my own way. I, like, studied the pictures intensely, and they had, like, a 3D view where you could look around until I could replicate what they had made. Wow, this got all jacked up in there. Mindstorms for schools. Yes, just making more. Man, yeah, this got mangled in there. There's your stock photo, or or maybe they were actual, <laughs> actually, <laughs> actual pictures there. And yeah, this is the Robo Lab software. I actually haven't had any experience thus far with it. Um, I believe it could be used with the the Dacta Control Lab as well. Um, I just haven't got that far with it. Um, I hope to eventually. 
Just trying to hold these up if you need to, if you want to pause and read them, you can. Maybe I can do some scans later on. So, very cool. I don't remember, maybe I've come across this, I don't remember. And I guess I would have come across all of this uh, in 2001. <laughs> And then this is the test pad. I don't even know if I can get that all in frame here. Um, this was something they continued for a long time. Even I don't know about the most recent um, robotic set. I don't even remember what it's called. I'm not really that interested in it. <laughs> um, I know the NXT came with a, a pad like this. So you could make a, a, a robot with a light sensor on the front and then have it follow this line and, and drive all the way around. Yeah, the different colors for different things, and um, I'm not even all 100% sure what all things you could do with it. But um, I guess the green is kind of a third color, so you've got the white and black that it can differentiate between. And I guess green was a good color as a third color to be able to see because the, the light sensor wasn't, you know, it was nothing like the newer stuff. I mean, like you've got the NXT color sensor, which literally tells the program what color it's looking at. Um, this was well before all of that. Oh, I found the other tire. It was stuck to the bottom. <laughs> okay, let's get this back in here. So that is the Robotics Invention System 2.0. Um, the experience of unboxing it. Um, eventually, I, I do want to do more in-depth videos of each of the builds that you would do and uh, the programming and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it takes time. I'm finding out how much time these videos take. <laughs> video like this is, is fairly easy. But still, I had to set up lights. I had to worry about all the sounds, going, trains going by, and neighbors, and um, all that kind of stuff. But... Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any, you know, feel free to leave comments below of your experience, your memories with the with the robotics invention system. I'd love to hear it because uh, it, it meant so much to me as a kid. Even though I, I guess I didn't really do that much with it, um, it still meant the world to me. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.